Hey you guys, it's Pat here from SimCloud. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over a quick summary or review of what we call our B2B customer portal. Uh, and the idea here is to allow your customers to self-service and be able to access their account information online 24-7, uh, leveraging the up-to-date live information coming from their account records inside of your Sage ERP system. Uh, and so as an example, in our demo site, uh, a customer would come to your site and they would be able to log in and that login will be tied to their particular account inside of Sage 100 as an example. And so when they log in, they first land on what we call the B2B dashboard. So the idea here is the B2B dashboard over the years uh, of working with customers and building these out for other organizations, uh, we came to the conclusion based on behavior and usage of the site that B2B customers wanna get in and get out as soon as possible. So the navigation here is very easy to use, uh, very clean. There's not a, a lot of noise and images and things like that going on. Uh, they have a left rail menu to kind of navigate their portion of the site. But the B2B dashboard here, keep in mind, everything is responsive. It's built on, on a responsive um, style application. So that way they could leverage their tablets, their smartphones, big screen TVs, doesn't matter. It's gonna display appropriately. Uh, depending on what device they're using to check their information whenever and wherever. So the first top section typically comes out uh, to show products and allowing customers to uh, shop and browse different products, look at the largest uh, number of products they've ordered in a dynamically built smart list, uh, we call it, depending on what their history uh, looks like coming from the ERP. They also have favorites lists so they can create and manage their own list uh, as a user of the site. Uh, frequently ordered items, the largest spend. Uh, so a lot of different ways to report and get them to an area that allows them to review products and ultimately the goal, get them to place the order. Uh, so there's a global search option here at the top. They can search products. Uh, they can even search through back orders, order status, order numbers, shipments, invoices, a lot of different areas they can search. Again, just to make it easier for them to navigate their information without having to contact your organization and your customer service team uh, during business hours. So uh, after the shop section, we then go down the natural flow of an order being placed, the order being fulfilled, the status of the order, uh, so forth and so on. So the next section is just going to be what they currently had um, stored in the application. So they may have a shopping cart that has items that they saved for later, uh, things like that to get them uh, additional convenience in placing orders. And then they actually get into the section of orders and shipments. So these are orders that were already placed. Keep in mind, this is all integrated into the back end uh, ERP system, in this case, Sage 100. And so the neat thing is it's not all web orders um, that they can see, they can see all orders. So there may still be some purchasers out there that want to leverage phone, fax, or email, the old school methodology to place an order. When those orders are placed into the ERP and they're fulfilled, that information comes back to the site so they can review that. So it's not just web orders, it's their entire order uh, history to be able to review and check on status shipments, um, quantity of products ordered, things like that. Uh, then the next section, after the orders have been delivered or sent to the customer and you have invoiced them out, they now have their own invoice payment portal to track status of invoices, to pay invoices online. Uh, we even sync cash receipts into the ERP to streamline that process for you. Uh, so the goal here is just automating that entire uh, gamut of finding products, placing orders and information coming into the ERP and then back out to communicate that to the customer uh, to reduce their effort. So again, all, all built around customer um, satisfaction, usability of your application, doing business with you in a, a simpler manner uh, and ultimately building more customer loyalty, which we see time and time again. So um, payments and credits, they can look at all the payments that have been submitted, um, review or request help. Uh, and then general my account information. So this was just a general overview of the standard top level uh, look in, and what type of access to information they have as a customer through the SimCloud B2B portal. Thanks for watching the video and check out some of the others to get more information on what we do here at SimCloud. Thanks.